you know folks so in this video i'm going to talk about uh, docker images uh, so docker image is a file that contains instructions to build a complete and executable version of application which sits on top of you know host operating system kernel so in a nutshell it contains instructions to create a container and that container is nothing but a, a you know running instance of an image so without further delay let's open my uh, uh, docker terminal here okay and let me type command docker images help to see various options to run with okay so you can see that if you uh, you know uh, provide another uh, clause basically hyphen hyphen all you will be able to see all the images you know currently which are there on your uh, system okay and uh, likewise you can use other options as well but let me type this command docker images to see if any image is running on my uh, if there is any image present on my system okay you can see that nothing is there right so let's go ahead and pull one image from the docker repository so this is the uh, basically uh, url for docker hub hub.docker.com okay and here you will find a lot of images okay uh, and you can basically uh, install a particular image from this particular repository so let's click on explore here and you can see i have logged in uh, through my credentials here but uh, in order to access these images you need to uh, sign up on this particular website hub.docker.com first create your account and then after that you can uh, very well you know access these images so now you can see that there are a lot of images uh, for verified publisher as well official images for couch base uh, oracle java 8e so and so forth but let me try to pull image for ubuntu operating system okay so in the search bar i can just type ubuntu click enter and you will be provided with an option of this ubuntu image click on ubuntu okay so here is this command docker pull ubuntu we are going to run this command on our system okay on the basically docker terminal and this particular ubuntu image will be installed right and uh, okay here i would like to sh tell you one more thing so here are the supported tags and respective docker file links right uh, and if you click on tags so tags are nothing but uh, you know kind of a version number right so these are the tag, different tags and in fact you can see the uh, tag numbers here 18.04 18.14 so if you want to basically um, you know pull any particular tag then you can provide that tag detail as well while pulling the image okay so right now i'm just pulling the default version so i'm going to uh, pull the default version of uh, ubuntu so let me type okay so our command was this docker pull ubuntu let me copy this command okay and i just pasted this command using right click option press enter and you will be able to see that so you can see the message using default tag latest one so it will pick the latest tag or the version of this ubuntu image okay so you can see the uh, size of this image is 32 mb and uh, it is taking a little bit time and so far 6 mb has been downloaded okay so it depends upon your uh, basically internet speed as well 
and the amount of bandwidth you have internet bandwidth you have so based on that it basically takes time accordingly so now so that was one extracting right now uh, so it's downloaded and extracted because most of the time you know these images are in uh, tar file format as well so but it has been uh, taken care of automatically by uh, docker so it untars it and extract the required files okay perfect so looks like it has downloaded it now pull this com uh, sorry uh, run this command once again docker image okay oh sorry uh, it is docker images perfect so now you can see that we have a ubuntu image you know uh, installed or download on our system uh, you can see the repository uh name is see this is the image one two tag is latest one this is the image id okay so you can perform several commands using this image id also okay and this is the size of it right so guys this is it for this video uh i'm going to cover uh, uh you know the remaining steps uh for this particular uh, docker pull uh, image of ubuntu uh, you know just to see we will go inside this particular ubuntu uh, environment and see various folders so that i'm going to cover in the next video tutorial so thanks for watching